Good morning. I'm reading from the book of Nehemiah, verse chapter number 6, verse number 3 and 4 in New Living Translation. So, I reply by sending this message to them. I am engaged in a great work, so I can't come. Why should I stop working to come and meet with you? Four times they sent the same message, and each time I gave the same reply. The reply you should always give to your enemies of purpose is the same reply that Nehemiah gave here. Last week we saw how that your purpose will always attract opposition. People will always be opposed to what God wants you to achieve on earth. And so here in Nehemiah's story, we saw how Sambala, Tobias, and Gushin uh, started fighting just because he started building. When you were nobody, when you were not doing anything significant, people were not hating you. The moment you began to do something uh, useful and counting, people will begin to rise to talk about you. They will say you are a wrong person. They will say you have wrong ideas. They will say you are in the wrong way. In fact, they will tell you that you, you are not capable. There was something similar than to be a said to Nehemiah that even what they are building, if a cat stands on it like a fence, it will break. So what makes that a problem? Why are people trying to talk you down? Because they've seen what you're going to become if they allow you to continue. But the fact is this, they cannot stop you just the way they couldn't stop Nehemiah. Nehemiah's story wasn't about pastor, he wasn't into ministry, he was, he was not a priest, he was just a businessman. So it doesn't matter what kind of purpose uh, God has called you to on earth, you're going to have people who are going to always oppose you. And the opposition of Nehemiah was instant. Sometimes they can't wait. The moment they see that something significant comes to your life, they want to attack you. They don't want to see Jerusalem built, so they didn't want Jerusalem to be defended. So people don't want your purpose to count in humanity. So they will do anything, anything they can to stop you. And that was why they called Nehemiah, come down. And Nehemiah said, no, I cannot come down. I have work in my hand. I love the way the NLT scripture put it. I'm engaged in a great work. So you have to let them know you are doing what God wants you to do and you're not going to come down for any sheep gossip or blackmail, no matter what. Most of your enemy are not angry with you because of your face or because of your personality. It's because of your purpose. They can't stand to see you become what God wants you to be. They will try and ridicule you. They will carry a rumor about you. They will threaten you. They will tell you to not work. Why are they going to do that is to slow you down. So you must never allow anybody to slow you down for any reason. All right? Your critics, they will want to prevent you from doing what the Lord has called you to do. They're going to be so afraid that you're going to accomplish purpose, that you're going to accomplish things. They will tell you, they don't have anything new. They will always use the same trick in their bag. They will ridicule you, spread rumor about you, and all that. Instead of listening to them, respond the way Nehemiah responded. You don't need to fight with your enemies. Your resort will silence any insult they are bringing. They don't deserve to come down and stop what you're doing. In fact, if you try to take on people who have a negative opinion about you, about God's plan for your life, you're just wasting your time. All you need, like Nehemiah, is defend your work. Keep your work on. You need to defend yourself. And then you, you don't even need to defend yourself against criticism. You just need to defend yourself against them stopping you from accomplishing what God will want you to accomplish. I don't want you to forget, we started it last week. And I'm saying it again. Your enemies are rising because they don't want to see you complete the assignment you are created to be. So I'd like you to write it under the video. No matter what you do, nothing is going to stop me from accomplishing my life assignment. God bless you. Have a nice day.